top of the evening, Solomon's Vineyard Frag family. Welcome back to the channel. It's your brother, the OG Russell Mack. We're here today with another fragrance review out of this envelope. Um, shout out to Madacosta again, who was here with me on last night, and all of you that stopped by. And we got some samples, and today we're going to dive into the House of Imaginary Authors for the second time here on Solomon's Vineyard. So, come and hang out with me for a few minutes for this review, get you a snack. Hey, I got my Twizzlers, y'all know all about my Twizzlers. These, this is the snack of the gods, the candy that the gods love. And me too. <laughs> what about you? So hang out with me for a few minutes. We won't be long. Meet me on the other side of the clip for another review, y'all. Let's go, fam. All right, family, we are back with the review. If you are new to this channel and this is your very first time meeting me, the OG Russell Mack, welcome to Solomon's Vineyard. For those of you that have been around, thank you so much for making this channel what it is. But if you're new, listen, subscribe to the channel, hit the bell icon so you don't miss any of my uploads. Listen, I do live streams, I do videos, fragrance reviews, first uh, impressions, package days, all of that frag content. Listen, I love for you to be a part of it, all right? Also, throw up the video. You can tell me your scent of the day by putting it down in the thread below. I really would appreciate that, all right? Also, let me thank all of you who hung out with your boy on last night, Friday Night Live with the OG. I appreciate it. I don't take any of you for granted. And shout out to all of my brothers and sisters who was there on last night, all right? My scent today, and I love how my buddy Mac, Matt, Matt Acosta, he uh, puts my samples in these colorful decals. Um, this hot pink one is Chocolate Makes Me Happy by Unique E. Uh, this is a niche house, not really familiar with it, but the fragrance is awesome. So be on the lookout for that review. It's coming soon. Be on the lookout for that upload. Um, be on the lookout for that thumbnail. Trust me, it's coming. You can check this fragrance out, all right? Now, let's get into the fragrance of the day. This fragrance here is from the House of Imaginary Authors. It's a 2012 release. Josh Meyer is the nose, okay? It's classified as an vanilla amber fragrance. And it is none other, and it's purple decant. None other than Memoirs of a Trespasser. Memoirs of a Trespasser. This fragrance was inspired by travel, okay? It was inspired by travel. Um, if you check their website, there are backstories to all of their fragrances. Um, I love their packaging, um, so I'll be putting up the bottle and the notes for you. Um, the gentleman of the story name is Philip Savard. Um, one of the things I like that he said in the story was when they uh, came to him because he's a loner and uh, he lived out on this ranch and they asked him, well, since you're a loner, what about love? And he said, who needs love when there's cognac in a glass? Well, my cognac love is that. All right, y'all, let's get into the fragrance. Well, this here is a beautiful fragrance. Um, if you love to pull out your ambers, your amber vanillas, with your leathers, your booze, this is the time for it. And this fragrance fits right in with the kind of weather that we are having. Um, when you first spray this, wow, you get a little bit of alcohol, okay? And I already have a dry down on this wrist here, okay? Uh, you get this sharp vanilla note, but then you get, wow, mm, notes like vanilla, you got amber seed or musk mellow. Oh my God, y'all. Uh, you got myrrh, you got oak, you got a note of clay, you have gayak wood. Man, oh man, oh man. When I let my daughter smell this, she said, 
it smells a little bit like uh, eggnog when you first spray it. But and, and what she's saying is it's sweet. It has this very sweet, woody opening. You get the vanilla, you get a little bit of the amber seed. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Wow, y'all. Um, it kind of reminds me of uh, this fragrance here. And this is by The Fireplace uh, by Mason Martin Margiela. You get this strong note of Gayak wood. That's the note that these two have in common. But then you have a note of oak. Oh, man. So you got oak, myrrh, Gayak wood, and clay. Uh, those are the heavier notes. And then you have your vanilla, your amber seed, or musk mellow, and benzoin, if you will. So they don't they don't use the, the bergamots, uh, the lighter notes like your effervescent notes, like your citrus, your grapefruit, your lemon. No, they get right down to business and they go right into the vanilla. The benzoin, the amber seed, and as it dries down, after about two and a half minutes, you start smelling that oak and gayak wood. So it changes up, changes up on your skin maybe two or three times. Now over here on this wrist, I have to dry down. And that's when you get your clay, your oak, your myrrh, your gayak wood, oh man, with just a hint of that vanilla. I love it because the vanilla runs throughout the entire fragrance from the beginning to the end and it acts as a thread and the rest of the notes uh, come together on that thread and that's what makes this fragrance such a beautiful fragrance. Oh man, Memoirs of a Trespass. Listen, warm, woody, earthy, kind of smoky from the guy at you can snuggle up, man, on a cold day and kind of do some trespassing of your own. Wow, I love it, y'all. Definitely full bottle worthy, but check their website. They have a 14 meal for 14, uh, $38, I'm sorry, a 14 meal for $38. And that's what I'm going to get. I got to have this fragrance. All right, so that's my take on it, guys. Memoirs of a Trespasser. 2012 check it out hope you enjoyed the review go and check out the website get you a sample and try it for yourself and see if it's a travel fragrance and a trespassing fragrance for you it's the og guy i'm out fam i'll see you tomorrow